and we're back on another episode of Salient Points. This one's 127 for November 7th, 2023. I'm Carlos Macias, the master of what, Dalen? The master of numbers. We're just numbering all these oh. episodes. At okay. some point, I mean, people are going to be like, why do we have a number for this episode? Hey, it's, it's funny. It. So people, I, I, and I got to, every time I do the, the breakdown or whatever, the news and stuff, I got to make sure I put the numbers, the dates, because I will forget. <laughs> If it's not there, if it's not staring me in the face, you, I would not know what number we're on. But we're 127. So the master of numbers, thank you very much. Dalen from up in the mountains, thank you for joining us, sir. I am here. How you feeling, Dalen? You feeling a little bit of case of the Mondays or are you all right? Yeah, you love asking me if I have the case of the Mondays, which is probably true. The so only thing just... about, the only thing that doesn't match you in the case of Mondi, uh, Mondays with Garfield <laughs> is that I don't think you're a lasagna fan. Are you a lasagna fan? Uh, yes, I do like. Okay, lasagna. so you basically you some Italian so you, pasta of so any you kind, and I will eat it. So you basically are Garfield, uh, and I like it. Uh, Luis Mendez on the wheels of steel. Thank you for joining us, sir. Um, he's just gonna nod yes. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna try something new. We try to keep. It sounded these... like you were gonna keep talking, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's just the top cat of this whole thing. Yeah, All right, I like Call it though. What's what? <laughs> <laughs> you did not appreciate me calling you Garfield. I didn't even know who Top Hat is. I don't know who that man is. Is that that's part of the franchise? The Top Garfield Cat. Part? It's like a Hanna Barbera cartoon. Just okay. look it up, Carlos. Nah, I'll look it up later. Yeah. But look, we're gonna do a little salient points. We're gonna try to keep it concise. We will split up the podcast in two parts, is what we're thinking. We'll do the news part. At some point, there are news that these mans are not interested in. So I'm gonna try to do a little quick speed run. Uh we'll end of the episode like that, and then we'll get into what you've been playing. But if you're listening on Monday or on Tuesday, you'll get the full episodes. Just on Wednesday, we'll split up the what you've been playing to make it a little extra special. Uh but we'll get right into it go ahead dalen make your statement i was just sir. thinking i was thinking the regulars that watch it that watch and listen to us they're like speed run ha let's see this oh happen. okay well look we're hey i'm trying to keep on track here i'm trying to keep on track look we'll get right into the headline last week as we published we didn't know too much but we had heard rumblings that there was people getting fired over there at bungie but we finally did get some more details uh from forbes and mr jason schreier and there's all kinds of fun stuff well right now we got forbes right but we got some more details on that that destiny as far as bungie is concerned saw uh people getting laid off 100 people got laid off because their projected sales are about 45 percent below projections uh and this was according to Forbes they said internally really no one is to, is blaming Sony for this even management some employees were told that if the Sony buyout did not happen that with current Destiny 2 performance the studio itself would have been in jeopardy if they were still independent that's kind of giving us a little bit of background as to when this studio was bought for about three billion dollars right and how we talked about it before is like these guys are kind of like the the king makers of the free to play space um but uh, yeah they let let go off a of, uh, hundred people unfortunately um it just you know, they were just weren't projecting what they thought it was going to be. As far as the laying off 100 people, what, what are your thoughts on, on, on this, Luis? It's your, we'll start with you. You're our resident uh, developer here. Oh, I was not going to approach this question oh. at all. The, oh, my bad. Sort of, uh, I thought you, okay. Um, I was just going to say that, well, it makes sense. If us three who love Destiny don't even play it, then <laughs> of course they're not going to okay. match their numbers. I think the yeah. only difference between us and the other typical Destiny players yeah. is that we do buy the bundles we just don't play the game so i think most people <laughs> we, just don't do either yeah right yeah that's fair we're, 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 we're doing our part bungie we're doing our part but it, it's kind of interesting to see that these guys have been it's been a little rough because the the cell went through i think a year ago or two years ago right and we're and it's kind of being brought up like it's like this could have been much worse if sony hadn't uh helped in, in the buying of this business uh dalen what do you make of this sir I could say that Destiny is unfortunately, ever since it went to Destiny 2, has been on a downward trend ever since they launched. Yeah. I think you guys know this. I mean, they had a little peak there when they dropped Forsaken, but then after that, nothing was good. <laughs> yeah. I, and it's yeah. just been a sad situation. The price hike went up. They added dungeon keys. They made things way more I, pricey yeah. on a yearly basis. They took away a bunch of the stuff that made the game fun like bugs when you take away bugs like bu away well some of it bugs. wasn't even <laughs> bugs man some of it was like this gun recharges over time and then they said mm, nah, we don't nah, know if we like that, that it's just a little too fun <laughs> it's, it's like a this too one fun. piece of equipment yeah. that i've had the entire duration yeah. suddenly is now useless because they took away the one thing that i like yeah. like like the lunification boots 
Nice. You used to be able to put on those boots, stand in a well with your warlock, and you can just keep rolling and reloading all day. Yeah. They took that away. <laughs> there, there's definitely, yeah. So th- now you'll be happy to know. So they did delay. There's another uh, wrinkle to the story last week is that they did delay the final shape. And they, they're saying that it's kind of like a make or break for Destiny, all right? So they, they delayed it. They want to make it the best the kind of Destiny they can be. Uh, this is according to Forbes. Uh, uh, everything seems to point toward the final shape being a sigh. I, I kind of don't like seeing this in professional publications. This is like a pet peeve of, me, a pet peeve of mine that I see publications. I was like, <sighs> you threw in a sigh, huh, Forbes? Uh, everything seems to point toward the final shape being a Sigh, make or break moment for Destiny, but yes, it really may be that this time. Uh, also, Bungie via Destructoid uh, said, quote, we know we have lost a lot of your trust, end quote. The Destiny 2 development team wrote in a blog post, quote, Destiny needs to surprise and delight. We haven't done this enough, and that's going to change. Uh, to start the studio, uh, it has more than 650 dedicated teammates pouring all their energy and expertise into delivering the final shape. In addition to the to the episodes that will follow Bungie says fans can expect to hear more about the future of destiny 2 in the weeks ahead so it's kind of like they're they delayed the final shape and it's like break or you know they it has to hit has to be the best game you know they had they they've made i know they they quoted in the in the blog post saying that they want it to be the best game they've ever made so let's hope for that right uh because i'll be there and like uh you know they, they've changed the prices uh like lisa was saying we buy it uh we don't play it so this <laughs> one's definitely you know, I I think we at least played through the campaign, right, Dalen? Hey man, I play it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, What do you make of this, Dalen? What do you uh, Are you a little upset that the final shape is being delayed, or I mean, it's good. Uh, you know. no, it gives me more time to get enough money to be able to pay for it. I mean, there are other things that happen around that same time. You know, right off the tail end of Christmas, mm-hmm. talking about like a month later, let's pay, let's drop a hundred dollars, unless yeah. somebody wants to spot me. But that's beside the point. Uh, I do think even with this postponement, it it's kind of telling that yeah. it feels like it's going to be their last real expansion. I feel like it's on its last leg. Yeah, like unless this thing off. makes a good amount of money, this is like the last stand for Destiny. Yeah, uh, in this which I, hopefully, case. I mean, look, we played it long enough, man. We buy all these other games that you play it for a couple weeks. You're done with it. You enjoyed it, and it's okay. And it's okay. And I think it, it, it's good. But I think you you put. Put the, you know, you put a, go ahead, Dale. You put a fine point on no. that. Is what I was gonna say. <laughs> no, yeah. I was going to say, I actually have a quote for you. It's not yeah. specifically in regards to the final shape. It's in regards to their layoffs and yeah. where we're at with Bungie because a bunch of people have obviously moved away from Destiny partially because of how they, uh, how they suddenly decided to lay people off. They put up an official quote on their website or their, their, they responded to people in regards to those layoffs saying, this has been one of the most difficult weeks in our studio's histories, as we yeah. parted ways with people we respect and admire, and then they immediately moved off of that and went right into the into the future of Destiny Two, yeah. just talking about their expansion and stuff like that. I was like, you had one sentence about the fact that you just laid off a hundred people right before Christmas. They're sad That's about a it, man. Terrible. Look. They told you they're sad about it. All right, and, and the, the fans. <laughs> That's a terrible. Yeah. And, and they they told they us uh, no they told time. they told us here as well. We know we have lost a lot of your trust. So they they definitely <laughs> put the apologies into the chat GPT and it spat one out. All right. So, uh, but uh, yeah, the final shape, man. I'm good with that being the last one. I mean, it even it's in the name, the final shape. You're right? good with so it being the last one. I, I'm okay I with that. I, I like it, and it's fine. But by the way, it was gonna come out like around like April ish time or early 2024. So the delay. Pushes it further to next holiday, Dylan. When you got things to purchase, as you were saying. So I don't know how it changes that. Uh, Luis, what do you what do you make of this, sir? Yeah, I'm kind of what with what you were saying. I I was already expecting this to be the last one, but I guess the the difference they're talking about is as far as the future of the game. And well, like, it's not possibly the studio anymore necessarily, but yeah. this this could be a make or break scenario for what they do next. I guess. But yeah, yeah I had already kind of seen. Or expected this to be the last destiny like big update yeah already yeah and you know in the article on the on forbes they also said quote uh no new info about the long long term or something like destiny 3 which i did not get the sense was really on the radar and by the way this is like a insider quote-unquote insider that kind of supposedly knows the in the the going on inside the company uh but yeah destiny 3 even that we'll see if we get a destiny 3 but i'm okay with them look it's been 10 years we've been playing this game for 
nine years, Dalen? Nine, ten years, man? Or ten years by the, by the time? We've been planning since know. day one, good sir. Yeah. So, and on top okay, of that, that equals ten they years. Promised, yeah. They promised ten years. Yeah. They gave us That's ten true. years. And now okay. it's like. All right, yeah. now you ain't got nothing left. What happened? You ran yeah, out of and, and, and it's that whole 10 years. and it's ten years amid like restructuring, and we're going to Activision, and we're buying it back from them, and we're selling to Sony. So you know they've given us fun times. I, I did want to mention besides that, of course, is that it seems like it might be the year of DLC of being sold as full price. We got two examples. The first one I wanted to bring up is, of course, is the Like a Dragon Gaiden that it's out for free tomorrow, quote unquote, for free on Game Pass. It's Like a Dragon Gaiden. Uh, was it the man who t- forgot his name or didn't say his name? I'm gonna be there, I think. I'm going to play it because I hear it's like half the size of a regular Yakuza game. But they did say, um, this is according to BGC, they said RGG Studio says Like a Dragon Guy then took six months to make. The studio, quote, considered making it as DLC, end quote, but chose to flesh it out and release it as, as a full game. So that was kind of interesting that we get like a little DLC type of situation there. But um, I'm excited. I don't care. If it's DLC, it's like half the, half the length of a regular Yakuza game and it's the return of Ryu from what I understand. Uh, I did look into it a little bit, and I, I was thinking maybe Dale was going to be here this this week. We'll see him next time. We'll see him at an, on another podcast. But um, I looked into it like, damn, I might regret playing this because I might be all out of order on the start. <laughs> but I'm going to still do it. I'm going to still do it. So that's one case of that. There's like, oh, are they selling us these games at full price, even though this one's free on Game Pass, of course. But the other one that's kind of been making waves, and it's coming out this week, so I'm kind of looking forward to playing it because um, it's out officially in a few days. It's uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Couple of the things that have come come out for it, right? It doesn't have its own platinum trophy, which is a little interesting. When a game doesn't have its own platinum trophy, it usually means like it's sort of like DLC, which is what people are saying. This this game is being treated as Modern Warfare 2's DLC. Uh, I know some some people were even having issues with like players getting asked to put in their Modern Warfare 2 disc. So that's a little interesting. Uh, and apparently the game is about uh, three or four hours long. I know, Luis, you've been getting down with it. I don't know if you want to kind of say too much until we get to what you've been playing. But wh- what do you make, I guess, about kind of these complaints for players do you agree do you disagree are you somewhere in between or now now that you've been playing Um, the game well i mean first and foremost for whatever reason it feels like this nobody ever gives a shit about the call of duty campaign and all of a sudden Mm -hmm. everyone wants to shit on it Uh (laughs) true they uh, just kind of ignore it right for this year it's like let's talk about it but now it's like hey the campaign's trash it's like wait you guys never talk about it you're not even gonna play it so why do you care Okay, uh, fair. So, Were they mad one year when they didn't have a campaign? There was some people, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was just that. curious about that. I, I remember there being a year where there was no campaign and everybody was up in arms like, why is there oh, a campaign? Was, oh, and yeah, that, that, campaign that was... got made and then nobody played it. Yeah, that, that <laughs> might have been one of the Black Ops, I think. Black Ops 3 might have not mm-hmm. had a campaign, and I was like, mm, I don't like this at all. So... <laughs> But I'm I'm interested because some of the things I'm hearing, like people were like, the because last year's version they were saying like that one had some good, and I even liked it. it was, I think it was my number two, number th- no, maybe it might have been like number three, number four game of the year, just the campaign, not even like the multiplayer. So to me, it's like. I, I kind of I haven't played it yet I want to play it and kind of see what people are talking about I'm sure you guys will get my impressions next uh, next week I'm sure if I get the game in time I should um, from Gamefly uh, but I'm, I'm kind of interested kind of but but as far as what you've seen Luis it's kind of like it's overblown you think or, or you think they're onto something kind of because some some of it I think I was hearing that they, they, that assets are being reused for multiplayer and that kind of thing which like we've talked about before it's like so what so you use the same boat animation to bring in uh, you know <laughs> the god of war kid or atreus um yeah but, well, well about the the multiplayer because i don't think anyone can even play it right now unless yeah. you're a viewer maybe but i, mm. I don't know yeah uh, um i think i'm like two hours into the campaign and it doesn't feel like it's anywhere near close to ending so i, I don't understand the the four yeah. hour uh, thing I'm, I'm i'm betting it's short but i yeah. don't discount that but four hours i'm not sure yet yeah, I know you did. Uh, I don't know if you want to kind of respond to this, but you did say on, on Twitter. I think it's the first time I quote you on this. I quote uh, Dale all the time, but I'm sure this is how you said it. All right, Luis, you put this up on Twitter. Quote, sure. I'm not that far into it, but this was probably the trade off with with the open world aspects. Some of these missions have it increases replay value, but you can quickly blaze through the campaign if you'd like. Uh, and that's in reference to um, that is it's it's short enough game you think it's mm-hmm. like that you could kind of skip around and, and play all the missions and stuff which last year's game 
wasn't really that long anyways, man. But it was nice. It had a lot of no. nice little moments, you know. So I think it might have been like five, six at the most. Uh, so we'll see. But anything else on that, Luis? Or, or, or you said your piece? Um, I'll save it for later. Okay. All right. We'll get to it later and uh, what you've been playing. Uh, they did uh, over the, the weekend, uh, as far as like uh, Xbox was concerned, they did put up a Modern Warfare 3 like full screen ad pop-ups on your Xbox if you if you jumped on there. People were really complaining about this. Um, and I do have a quote from Ethan Gotch. He's, he's one of the writers at Kutaku. He said, quote, I'm pretty shocked by the apologia around intrusive Xbox ads. Is it the end of the world? No, but it's just as easy for Microsoft to not do them as it is for people to press the back button. I pay for the console. I pay to play online. I do not need to pay for marketing, which... I, I, it's fair, I think. I think it's a, that's a, he, well. He's making a fair statement. He's looking at both sides on that, right? But uh, yeah, I don't. I think it's over. I think it might be overblown that the internet's like, get out of here, man! You got this shit all on my screen. Why? <laughs> it's like, relax, man. Take it. You have ads everywhere. You have ads on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I don't know anything you use has ads. Um, and it's just telling you about a cool game potentially, unless you're trying to hate on the campaign, I guess. But what do you what do you make of this, Luis? Look, man, I get, I get it. I get it from a consumer standpoint. You load yeah. up your console, you see an ad for Modern Warfare, but then you just get rid of it. You just move yeah. on with your life, and it doesn't show up again. Also, these guys have just dropped a shit ton of money on on this franchise, <laughs> this, this <laughs> developer. Yeah, so, like, yeah. you give me one ad, sure, I'll take it. Like, I, I understand it from their point of view. I'm not that yeah. mad about it. I yeah. think, uh, yeah, just what you're saying. The general consensus for people is like they see an ad that they didn't yeah. expect and it's like uproar whereas you see them all over the place everywhere else already what's yeah. another ad I yeah think. but but yeah i think that that's pretty funny it's like let these mans you know they're gonna give all these games to you for free and game pass man let them have their hey remember this game's on xbox too just give, give them a moment just give, give them that little moment mm -hmm. but uh yeah it, it's fair enough it's, it's one of those things where it's like you understand the consumer side of it but you'll be all right man we're going to quick takes now um this one's going to be for dalen uh blizzcon was going on over the the okay dalen shake your head like a bobblehead if you will um <laughs> yeah, so BlizzCon happened over the over the weekend, um, and of course, we one of the bigger things that came out of it. Uh, this one was according to Jason Schreier. He said that, uh, well, this is Bloomberg via Dextero. He said, um, with dozens of original devs now gone, Ibarra isn't set on forcing newer team members into the RTS genre. Ibarra, by the way, is the one of the kind of like the game directors over there. Uh, it's, quote, it's not me saying, go make a StarCraft game. I need to have someone who has a vision and passion that comes with the idea, and I'll bet on that team. Uh, basically, they don't have anything uh, in the works for StarCraft, Taylor. So I don't know I don't know if you're a StarCraft fan or not, uh, but it's kind of interesting to see. There's like a lot of the people that originally made that the, the StarCraft games, one and two, are gone. So it's really like, okay, we have StarCraft give me an idea it could potentially not be an rts but what do yeah you but for me i played i played through most of starcraft one and i touched based on starcraft 2 so i don't know as much about starcraft 2 i just know it's pretty much the same thing um but with prettier graphics i would i would actually hope that they decide to reboot the starcraft series in a different media or at least a different format, not a different, yeah. a different format. Uh, because if they did something along the lines of uh, Gears of War or anything, most uh, most first person shooter, oh, to actually one. get you into the story that is StarCraft, I mean, they could even do a Red Faction esque type thing. Uh, what was the name of that one that came out? Guerrilla Warfare? Guerrilla Warfare, Red Faction, Guerrilla Warfare? Yeah. If they did something like that, that could be a beautiful way to reintroduce people into StarCraft. Who, who didn't really know what it was to begin with. Well, and they did have a game that they were working on uh, called Star StarCraft Ghost, which looked pretty cool. It looked like it was going to be like a third-person shooter type of game, but it's canceled, man. It's not coming out. So <laughs> I'm we'll just see. saying, we'll if, they did, if they reboot the yeah. series with a new format rather than real-time strategy, I think yeah. they could do a lot of good for the whole se uh, for the series as a whole. Yeah. Uh, besides that, get that, people reinterested. Re interested, that's yeah, it. that's one of the things that's like that game's huge too, man. People play it. There's still competitions. There's like it's it's a huge <laughs> game, right? Um, so you, I wouldn't be surprised to kind of hear something about that. Um, and now especially that they got bought by you know uh, Microsoft, you would think Microsoft's like, 
Ooh, let's go. Let's get a little RTS with the StarCraft flavor. <laughs> yeah, but they look at uh, it and said, oh, there's only two of these games. Maybe we uh, should we'll wait see. and think real we'll hard see. about there's it. A lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of infusion of cash, Damon, that, that's going around there. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, I feel like we'll, we'll hear something about it. I don't know how soon, but I'm sure we'll hear about it. Besides that, of course, Diablo 4's uh, first expansion uh, drops late 2024. It's going to be called Vessel of Hatred. Um, and that's what they, another thing they announced at BlizzCon. Uh, then there's going to be three world of warcraft expansions starting with the war within next year uh jason schreier also said on the um, on his uh, article uh which is correction here is uh, even blizzard president mike ibarra doesn't know what the xbox era will look like but free of activision influence blizzard now enjoys more autonomy than it has in many ways so we'll see kind of what plays out with that maybe he's onto something it's like somebody come to me with the vision, pitch me, pitch me, man, pitch me, and we'll we'll see something come out of that. In related news, Dan says you brought it up, so you brought a little Gears of War action here. Cliffy B or Mr. Cliff Blazinski, he at some point he said, "Stop calling me Cliffy B," but I will forevermore know this man as Cliffy B. All right, he says Gears of War is ready for a reboot, reboot akin to 2018's God of War. He says, "Quote: Phil Spencer has my number. I'm happy to consult." Dalen, I'm down. I'm down. Hmm. What about yourself, sir? I'm also down as long as they could, one, keep the co-op, and two, keep the spirit of what Gears of War is. Uh, because the, we've said it before, Carlos, those games kind of hold up real well. They always <laughs> surprise you, time. man. They always <laughs> surprise you. I'm always like, all right, here it goes. Another Gears 5. I'm like, this shit, it looks pretty. It plays well. It you, it, it, it just, they're, they're nice games. It's just I understand that people maybe... I don't know if it's the visuals or what it is, but they don't get past something of it looks clunky, man. It's like it's like big chunky pieces of meat on your screen. But, but it then you surprising. play it, you're like, this game is smooth. It, especially <laughs> the multiplayer, and we played it before. I like even like how they I I think I mentioned it before, but how the difficulty one player can choose one difficulty and the other one can kind of choose a different one, and it's like it works, and it's 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 just nice. It's just nice. But hey, well, I'll take a reboot. I'll take a reboot. Uh, this next one's for Luis. Twitter will be disabled. Twitter slash X. I like how people out there, it's like X, formerly known as Twitter. Like, shut up, man. Just call it Twitter, all right, or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, Twitter will be disabled on PlayStation starting next week. Is this a big deal for you, Luis? No. I mean, I, I guess for some, some people it – well, let me rephrase that. The, the article I saw was from uh, IGN, I okay. think. Okay. And then pretty much all the replies were like, well, yeah, but the clip still saves to your PlayStation app, so, like, it doesn't really matter. And I think um, most users have been doing that, myself included. You'll mm -hmm. you'll record a clip, it automatically backs it up to the PlayStation app, and then you just download it and do whatever you want with it from there. And, as well as, like, you know, you could edit it yeah. later. So you're like, ah, maybe I didn't want these first 10 seconds or whatever. Yeah. Um, right. So, yeah, I don't think it's a big deal, honestly. It's weird. It's a strain that well, Musk and, is doing something. Yeah, like and, this, and I but... think I, I might have even, like, mentioned it because I threw this. I don't I don't know if it was in our chat, like, in our, you know, our friends group chat or whatever it is. But but it's it's funny. Like, I think one of Samir might have been asking, like, wait, what's up with this? Like, oh, Musk has been doing wacky shit, man. Like, it's like, mm -hmm. what, what's that story? What's I don't know the, the moral of the story or whatever it is. Like, today they don't come for you, but tomorrow they'll come for you or something like that. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I, Twitter's been doing shit like since elon musk took over and i was like whatever 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 and then i was like this motherfucker really took the wordpress like auto post functionality like why why musk i don't <laughs> i don't understand how this is affecting your life uh but yeah you like you're saying it's not too big of a deal right i, I guess and no uh, it's just bizarre it's like yeah. okay i don't see why you needed to do that but that's fine okay, okay um the next thing we have on here is that insomniac has said that miles morales is going to be the quote-unquote main spider-man going forward i know the internet was more than happy to like oh it's because it ended this way it ended that way. i was like Psh, i was trying to swat it away all right i i don't care but this is potentially a spoiler maybe not uh but yeah i i, I i'm okay man that's kind of cool Man, that's all. I, I, until I beat Spider-Man 2, I guess, then I'll be like have a more definitive answer, or if I'm offended or not, I guess. But what what do you think, Dalen? You, this is a good move. I don't think it's a good move or a bad move, simply because hey, it's Spider-Man. It gives us more Spider-Man. But in the past, obviously, just hearing the name Spider-Man, you always think of the red and blue Spider-Man. For years back. People are just now realizing that Miles Morales is actually a cool story. So yeah. they're banking on that. They're like, all right, let's keep doing this. That's fine. Let's go. I'm yeah. fine with this. 
But what we need are more games where Venom's a good guy. I'm just saying. He's he's kind of he's kind of wacky. I do have a, a mm-hmm. man crush on um, Tom Hardy. So yeah, more more Venom. Even though the <laughs> movies aren't that great, they're not that no, great. Movies are. They're not uh, that but great. He was but a, he did his best. But the uh, the character of Venom, there were points where he was a good guy. Yeah. Okay. And depending on the comic that you read. Yeah. And right. they could expand on that. They just never have. All right. Well, Miles Morales. Just some people I, might be my, might be upset or not. Whatever. I, I like him. He's definitely Why? cooler. Shut he's up. definitely he's definitely cooler than. Uh, That's like being mad at the cooler. Blue Beetle. That's I who do, he is. Shut I up. do like how your official statement to the world, Dalen, here on Salient Points on a Monday slash Tuesday. Why? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, it's Why, enough. This other one is for you as well. Dalen Vampire Survivors is getting a mini story campaign, quote unquote, adventures. This is according to uh, Eurogamer and IGN. Also, I believe interviewed uh, kind of the developers over there. Over there, they said, "quote It's going to be self-contained miniature story modes that reset and remix the game's content." Now, I thought you said. I think you might have said, Dalen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that you've like game tape solved this already. But does this make yes. you go? I am ready to go back. If they do I am. This kind of thing. That they yeah. immediately made me ready to go back. I saw that. I was yeah. like, yes. I looked at the trailer for it. Yes, I am good right, to go man. with this. Because it's, it's actually going to be running alongside the main content. Because you have your main levels that you can actually go through. Mm-hmm. And then they give you this content that does not impact your, uh, your progress that you have for the other part of the game. So mm-hmm. you can either do those or you can go do the other games. But you won't have as many characters if you're going to do the mini side quest. If you don't do the main game first, there you go. Fact so I'm is, happy for you. There's gonna be more content, and it's free, and I'm down. I'm happy for you, Dalen. The other thing is, we might be getting Baldur's Gate three finally to Xbox. Remember, your speaker, your Xbox Series S, did not allow it. Did not allow them to bring Baldur's Gate three to Xbox because they just couldn't run it, or they couldn't run the split <laughs> screen. But from what we understand, is that on the December sixth, they did six November. So good job, Eurogamer, with your weird nomenclature over here. But December sixth, if the plate testing goes well, according to Leaker Ecstasy, uh, this is a, a Eurogamer via Save a Click. Thank you, Save a Click. Um, so are you excited? Then have you been waiting for it to hit Xbox for you to kind of get down with uh, Baldur's Gate three uh, Bear Six? Well, everybody was excited for it to specifically go to Xbox. And on top of that, it's just a matter of, does it need to be free? Do we need every game to be free? Carlos, I know you want to save money. Don't answer that. Uh, but yes. Uh, I mean, yes. I, knew, I know your answer. Yeah. But in regards to just a developer, you don't have to put every single game on Game Pass. Mm. As a gamer on a budget, yes, put every game for free. I'd love that. Even but not on a budget, man. Just give it to On me. a business, from a business perspective, I'm looking at them like, man, just some games just don't even need to be on Game Pass. People will buy this. Yeah. I mean, we found out with Star, uh, Starfield, right? We started with even, even with it being on Game Pass, people bought it. But we'll see. I mean, the turning point, Microsoft is not encouraging people to buy games to be honest but yeah this is <laughs> not a problem i doubt this will be on ga- game pass and this Baldur's gate 3 along with alan wake 2 are the two interesting games today that basically said we're doing all digital they were they will not be a physical there might be one you know you can't rule rule it out completely right i would love uh, physical versions of this but Baldur's gate 3 alan wake 2 are like pfft here it is, man. Download this game. The next thing on here that I thought was a little interesting was that Microsoft employees were finding out that they were losing uh, Game Pass on, on uh, Ultimate Benefits. The, this is according to The Verge. Uh, most permanent Microsoft employees will lose their benefit of free Xbox Game Pass Ultimate at the beginning of next year, and they're not happy about it. They even tagged Phil Spencer on MS or Microsoft uh, internal message board who wasn't aware of the changes. Uh, and about a day uh-huh. later... A couple days later, they updated it. The Verge updated it and said, quote, Spencer has now confirmed that the decision will be reversed and that Microsoft employees will be will keep the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate benefit. But I think that's uh, it's interesting. It, it's kind of tr- it's kind of like little perks that you get at your job, right? Like, oh, you can get a discount at Knott's or you can get a discount at like a theme park or something. And, and people were like, wait a minute. Give me my Game Pass Ultimate. What happened to this? But well, I, I don't know. Would you be upset? Would you be upset, Dylan? I guess that I guess in if yeah. one of my perks was yeah. to get free Game Pass because I work there, yeah. yes, I'd be okay. upset because that's a lot of games out of my library. But at the okay. same time, I'm thinking about what, uh, like the whole situation, just the situation as a whole. Yeah, they decided that they were going to take it away, 
And then, uh, then Phil Spencer was like, wait, why are we in the news for this shit? Stop that shit. He's slapping somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet. But then yeah. it showed up on the news saying that they are praising them as heroes for keeping it. I'm like, you are creating your own situation. <laughs> you do not need to be in the news for this, and you should not be praised as a hero. You just fix your own what, mistakes. Wait, what, what? Hold on. What news did you see on this rundown, or you mean like no, on, 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 on NBC? On, news on NBC or something, right? <laughs> yeah, I saw it on a news article. They said they were being praised <laughs> for, as heroes for keeping the game pass for them and blaze them like, you shouldn't have even had this issue. <laughs> yeah, I, it's interesting. Well, even he they didn't even know it wasn't like a, a Phil Spencer like initiative apparently, right? Because he said, "Whoa, whoa, 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 who, who's doing this? Just, just give it to him, man. Do this. Stop just, it. just give Slap. it to him." If anything, it's kind of like an internal thing, right? Where you work at the company, it's like, "Yeah, I get the ultimate." But let me check this out. Let me let me. They, it helps promotionally, I would think. Uh, Luis, is this a big deal? I know you click no, but I'm wondering, would you be upset if like you had a perk and it was? taken from you like an ultimate bat pass or i don't know like a discount on something you're gonna make your speed run i am i <laughs> we're past it we're past it <laughs> but not by much we only got two more here all right and, and it's a uh -huh. speed run remember real quickly i mean sure what <laughs> it's 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 10 bucks a month for me i wouldn't really care too much okay there you go there you go the next thing on here thank you for the update by the way i'm watching it i'm looking at it liza p uh sequel is confirmed Ga this is according to game informer after a september patch that included various changes to make the souls like action rpg easier game director ji won Choi. I'm saying that correctly, has released a director's letter to confirm plans for a Lies of P sequel tease DLC for the game with two new Im images and more. Dan, I know how much you love this game. You're, you're hyped for the sequel, man. You're, I know Hey, you. they made it a little bit easier, yeah. but I think when they got to the second half of the game, that, that learning curve went steep. <laughs> Very <laughs> end, regardless of how easy it went. But it's a good enough game. I'm glad that they're coming out with it. Are you going to beat it? Actually. Do you feel like the adjustments made it so you'll beat it? Uh, I know Ricky beat it, and I'm down to play not, it, but I why, got two in the game. Why would so I that backlog more? is real. Okay, well, just say no, man. What do you, you got to mention these other characters for? No, uh, the answer is possibly, but that backlog is, that backlog is real. Capcom is in the news uh, because of mods. They're against mods, I suppose. But, uh, but I, I thought it was hilarious the way they kind of worded it, so that's why I put it in here. But uh, this is according to Eurogamer. Capcom says that mods for its PC games can cause, quote, reputational damage, end quote, to, thanks to content which causes offense to, quote, public order and morales end quote resulting in a blow to the games and presumably the company's images uh yeah uh thomas the tank engine or what's that character called that they put him into uh resident evil 7 or village or whatever yes against the public order and morales all right that's that's all i could think about was the thomas the the friendly engine or whatever that cartoon is um but uh, what do you make of this Taylor? and then we'll get into my thomas speed run the here tank engine, Th there you thank you just so you're aware uh, like a month ago or a month or two ago, they had an issue during a Capcom fighting tournament mm. where a very, a very prestigious fighter went on there and forgot to turn his mods off. And he yeah. went into the game with a nude chun yeah, I remember this. And I'm, they yeah, had to yeah. cut the feed after like 15 okay. seconds. Okay. It was up for too long. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, fine, Capcom. You, you win. Because of Dalen, you win. All right, I understand now because of public order and morale. But have you not known that? Have you not known that? It's kind of a ridiculous statement to make, man. Like, what are we doing here, Capcom? Especially when the games are, like, violent, dude. They're violent, and you're seeing all kinds of violence and people getting murdered. And it's like, hmm. But not the original content. Huh? We're just talking about Thomas the Tank Engine. And this was a little rough. The one you just mentioned is a little rough. Uh, anything else, Dalen? Before I hit miss, uh, my little speed run here, I'm going to talk about the news that you guys don't care about. <laughs> Carlos, I think you're a diesel. Uh, I, I, is that a good thing? I hope. Carlos, the speedrun <laughs> initial first edition. I'll get through some of these news real quick. Uh, but as this one's according to Fortnite, if you guys don't know, it's kind of been blowing up. 44.7 million unique players uh, play Fortnite November 4th, breaking its own record after temporarily returning a ch the Chapter 1 map. Uh, I do like what Nathan Brown said. Uh, he's He does his own newsletter, Hit Points, which is great. Check it out. Formerly of Edge Magazine. He said just weeks after they laid off 830 people because there wasn't enough money 
money coming in. If only they'd somehow known this was coming. So that's an interesting uh, statement for Mr. Nathan Brown. Uh, go check the game out. I think the, the map is temporarily back for about a month. Uh, and Mr. Yu Suzuki one time, which I think I kind of annoyed when I met the man. I was telling him, but I will take responsibility because I did tell him, can we get Shenmue 3? And he was like, 3? I don't think he understands English. Maybe he does now, but at the time he didn't. And he's like, what are you talking about, man? You can take a picture or what? Anyways, Yu Suzuki. According, this is IGN uh, via Nobel Broet, I believe. I follow him over there on Twitter. If you guys want to follow him, go to my little deals tab or whatever. He's in there. Uh, he says, Yu Suzuki interview with IGN. He says, Shenmue 3 was made to please fans, but if he could make Shenmue 4, he wants it to be enjoyable for newcomers. He also thinks that a Yakuza 0-like Shenmue game could be turning a turning point for the series, which I think I've said it before, but... Shenmue, it's it's become the Yakuza series. Like, that's where you go now. And it, 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 it was proven even more when Shenmue 3 came out. I was like, this is not as good as Yakuza. It's not as good as that. Um, another thing is Epic fails to topple Steam, of course. Uh, Legacy Killer HD said, Tim Sweeney and Epic Game strategy to take over PC gaming is not going very well. That paying for exclusive strategy to take down the, quote, evil Steam monopoly has so far failed. And then according to The Verge, they said Epic's game store still is not profitable new court testimony has revealed epic games reportedly believed it could get half of all pc gaming revenue if they kept paying for exclusives which we talked about before they even tried to create this initiative where like the developers get a hundred percent of the revenue right off the bat this next one's really quick the last of us multiplayer game might not be in trouble and this is according to game euro gamer they talked to the director vinit argawa and he said quote yes i'm still working on that game end quote so <laughs> so that it might not be in trouble the last thing on here and I, you mentioned it earlier dalen but you, everything should go free including this game roller drome i don't know if you guys tried it out uh when it came out on playstation uh last year maybe earlier this year uh i think it might have been like on playstation plus supreme but it's finally coming out to game pass uh november 28th so it kind of pays to wait sometimes man it pays to wait especially if all you have is game pass uh that was a speed run i don't know i think i got through that <laughs> pretty quick uh and any thoughts on any of these things i guess or that is that why it's in the speed run <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm down to play Roller Drum. I wanted you to announce it to actually right. state that. Well, I've been go. wanting to play that, and now it's going to be on Game Pass. This will be the chance. This is one of those games where I'm like, fine, put it on Game Pass. There but, and I think it's still on Plus Supreme if you really want to. Uh, all right, look, stick around. We're going to be talking about what you've been playing. I know it's going to be split into a separate episode just to kind of get it out there because it's kind of the – we like we like talking about what we've been playing lately. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know if there's like a little break or something. I, I don't know. Maybe we'll just go right into it, <laughs> and then it'll be <laughs> cut into Wednesday. Uh, we're into what you've been playing. I'm Carlos Macias, Dalen Kirkwood, Luis Mendez. Uh, let's get into what we've been playing. Dalen, me and you have both been playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder, man. And I like this. together. But I, <laughs> well, I mean, we can. It's, it is online. It is online. <laughs> so I feel like we should at least try it out maybe once or twice, right? We kind of have to, we have to give it a shot, right? Um, at this point, I feel like you're significantly further than me. Uh, maybe. I, I might be like in the third world. Third world, possibly. Uh, yeah, I, I and I'm critical barely pathing. barely reached the second world. And I I'm critical passing. Um, <laughs> but I will say this. I do like that this you probably wouldn't have had this game had you played your gamefly cards correctly right and had had a you were trying to play get what else spider-man you're trying to get spider-man so you really Apparently should be playing been shipped to me you I gotta should go pick it up. you <laughs> should be playing spider-man 2 right now right so uh, how has it been how's the experience been the fact that you're like i didn't want this game first i wanted spider-man 2 so the, the more you play it the more have you found the joy dalen i guess is my question have you found the joy? i actually did find the joy in mario wonder in this game, even though I said it before, it's a fever dream of a Mario experience. <laughs> I mean, I said it and it's on wax, I feel, but you can take it. It is. You can take it. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, my bad. <laughs> but um, as I was playing it, I started to have that feel like, oh, this actually feels like Super Mario World. It straight up gives me a full vibe of Super Mario World. It's telling a full story. It's got that whole... Uh, overworld map situation. They try to do something new with it. They try to actually improve the art for Mario. And I think they actually did a, a slam job on it. So I don't know how it is when you have a multiplayer because I still haven't had a chance to do that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it'd be just as wacky as new Super Mario Bros. Uh, but... Yes, you're not that far off. But but I will say this. <laughs> as far, so when you played those games, right? You If you died, you kind of 
became a bubble, right? And, and you'd shake the controller to get closer. Uh, yeah, was it a bubble? Whatever you were, you were just dead, man. All right, but and your you spirit, Mario Brothers. If yeah. you had your, if you had somebody with you, yeah, yeah they die. They come back as a yeah. bubble, and you, you, you pop them out of it, and they'd be alive. But you have to mm-hmm. shake it, and you kind of wiggle around. Uh, this one, you can actually direct yourself. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can actually fly into a human. But it's just as wacky, man. It, it, it's it's something you you mentioned. Uh, before why we haven't actually played diablo 4 is that we all have different gameplay styles right we're all playing it at different paces this is, that's exactly what this is man every somebody's like wants to take their time they're just not as great as the hold down the run plus the jump kind of thing right all the little things that it, and the quote unquote advance mario gamer i guess so you have that person <laughs> and then you have another person that wants to get a little thing and then you have myself that's like i'm just trying to i'm just trying to get through this man i'm trying to get everything possible but uh uh, it is a game I think that kind of, uh, you know, kind of tugs at my completionist thing without having trophies. This is about the only games that will get me like, damn, I want to get all the wonder seats. Like, I want to get all the little you things. Live, yeah. Finish your level, yeah. you see what you missed. You're like, damn, yeah. I can't believe I missed that. I kind of want to go back because I think I know where it was. <laughs> yeah, and, and they're short enough, right? They're short enough levels, and they're fun enough. And you hit that fever dream of like, where in this fever dream was the thing that I needed? Um, but I, I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I don't. There's just so many games this year. I still, I still think it's gonna be interesting how we kind of it all plays out for us because there's just so much stuff. But there, it is a wonderful game. It is a wonderful game. A- anything else, Dalen? As far as uh, a Mario Wonder. Hey man, it's Mario. It's Mario. I actually, there is one thing I want to say is I didn't realize how difficult the boss fight would be for me. I died so many times trying to actually defeat that first boss. Wait, which one was it? Was it the Koopa Junior guy? Who was? Yeah, that? it was Koopa Junior. Yeah, yeah. Where he he would get small and you would get big, or and yeah. vice versa. Yeah. And I was having a hard time when I got when I got turned into a small one. I was like, how do I get on top of him? Yeah. Said I cannot jump that high. It's pretty clever, man. It's really clever. and like you were saying, new animations and everything. I saw somebody online, which they've been like, it's so dumb, but they're like, why did they make Mario like less masculine? I was like, you're talking about a cartoon man. I'm talking about a cartoon <laughs> man that he, to me, he's like, looks a little more expressive, but it's not over the top, right? It's just like little uh, subtle until differences. Until you get hit and lose your mushroom, yeah. then he looks very dwarfish, right? Yeah, but he always looked dwarfish, you know? He always looked, which I like that that's supposed to be his natural form. You're making yeah, him super. You're making him super with the mushroom, right? But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely having fun with it. Well, let's play it online some some at some point, Dale. You know, we'll figure it out. And maybe, maybe when we're trying to go back and grab some, you know, hard, uh, you know, hard to get hard to reach type of things do, do the does the difficulty stars do anything for you like do you avoid them or you're like no i want to do a hard level now i kind of like that i kind of like that there <laughs> there's difficulty levels to every yeah it depends on how i feel it actually helps me decide whether or not i want to yeah. do that level because i got to prepare yeah. myself mentally for the uh, for the struggle that i'm about yeah. to do <laughs> what what's your favorite badge man i'm kind of like oh you haven't gone far enough at but th- I don't my, have a lot of badges. What's your favorite I, one I so can far? Wall jump and do the straight up wall jump. I got the flying hat. Yeah. Uh, but that's uh, that dolphin swim has been a lifesaver for me yeah. recently. But other than that, I like my wall jump because I, I want, there's I, one I, that you get. Me. There's one that you get that when you're jumping, you get a little feet flurry. You get a little feet flurry. <laughs> <laughs> so so you get an extra little. It, it's look. You get the Yoshi flurry. I look, I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, yes, exactly. Yes, that's that's exactly what exactly what it is. Um, you know, because sometimes it's all marketing, right? And you're like, oh, Nintendo wants this to be an adjustable game or like a custom advisable game. And I'm like, it kind of is. It kind of is, but not in an annoying way. Where like, how are you gonna make dinner now? Go grab three pieces of sticks and grab two apples and then put the dinner together. It's really more oh, like you're know, talking about Zelda. It's just a, it's just a badge, man. Give me the badge, and you know, I did the challenge for it. Give me the badge. Uh, all right, anything else before we go into what Luis has been uh, playing lately? No, nah, I want to know what Luis. Has been okay, up to. Luis, what you been up to, man? Um, Spider Man Two has been the the front runner right now. That's I cool. did dip into the Modern Warfare campaign, like I said, but yeah. um. Yeah, Spider Man Two is um, it's good, man. It's, <laughs> it's, real for, real. Good. it's, for, it's, it's for real. Man. It's for real. It's for real. Yeah. It's um, yeah. I love the. It took me a moment to get adjusted to the changes in combat because they did change it from the first two games. I don't know how much you guys are aware of that or how much you played of it. Yeah. But um, yeah. The they they simplified it a lot more, but then also kind of enriched it more. 
mm. made it made it made you have more options to do different things during a fight um and i will say the internet was right in the sense that it, it is buggier than the last mm. two but nothing that's broken the game for me nothing that's like crashed or made me have to restart or quit or reload a save it's just like stupid stuff where you like you do one of your abilities and you kind of get caught in a rail for like a yeah. moment and then it like <laughs> yeah yeah, it yeah i heard that yeah. so it's just stuff like that where it's like oh, okay i guess it just bugged out there for a second yeah but the <laughs> main i'm playing this one differently from the first two in the sense that in the first two, I would, like, do a mission or two, main story mission, and then, all right, let me go clean up, like, the, the random stuff around the city. In this one, I'm actually, like, critical pathing like a motherfucker just because I want to see what's yeah. happening next. Because okay. the story is that engaging. The story caught me way off guard from okay. compared to the last two. Like, this one has a more serious overtone to it. Not even undertone. Like, ser it's, like, fully... You're like, oh damn, this story's like real kind of situation. <laughs> but but you uh, and, but you did notice that from Spider Man one and Miles Morales, right? To me, I felt like damn, the Miles Morales story is like mm -hmm. it it feels lived in. It feels like it, I know it's smaller, right? It's a more compact uh -huh. story, but so it it's one to two, and you feel like that's an equal difference of story wise. I think so. Yeah, I would oh, say so. Okay, I, I yeah. need to get around to this, man. I'm playing dumb games over here, like fucking Gungrave. <laughs> and shit and uh i need to get around but to it's this about hard. to leave game pass I, but it's die. about to leave game pass I, I, it's I, gone it's almost gone it's almost gone i got a few more okay so so anything else on, on spider-man 2 uh, at least um yeah i feel like i'm getting close to the end i will say that much i don't know how much further but yeah it's um oh i guess going back to you guys were talking about boss fights earlier for mario uh it reminded me there there was this one portion in the game where i played where well, I guess in general, there's just way more boss fights than the other two. Like, oh, a lot okay. more than okay. I remember. So, and uh, there's only really been, like, one or two that I actually really got stuck in. And I'm like, okay. It, like, it forced me to have to learn. <laughs> like, you, like, the like the, have you seen that little image on the internet where the guy, like, he has to sit forward? And you have to sit forward on a couple? I'm like, okay, hold on. It was the let equivalent me, of that. Yeah, me, it was the me. equivalent of, like, okay, I guess okay. I have to learn these mechanics. They're trying yeah. to be added now. Yeah, but once you kind of get into that, you're like you start using those same mechanics in your regular sort of just okay. cleaning up a crime happening in the city or whatever. So yeah, and there was a section where I just went to the main story, like let me just do this one and go to bed. And there was like three or four boss fights back to back, basically. That <laughs> like, before I'm that not mission ended. Going to bed. <laughs> so it was interesting. But yeah. Uh, yeah, loving it so far. Okay. Really good game. I like that, man. It, it, how many hours are you in? I guess story wise, because it's not supposed to be too long, right? Or um, I mm, I don't know. Maybe like eight hours okay. in. All right, I like, like that. that. Probably a little bit more. I like that. Speaking of length, though, this other game, you're only a couple mm -hmm. hours. In. What else? You Modern Warfare Three? Any? Any? Uh, I know you were teasing us a little bit earlier. Yeah. Okay. What, so what it is it. I remember them. I remember reading something of like, do you all have more uh, flexibility? I guess in missions in, in Modern Warfare Three, and the second mission in the game, it, it puts it on full display. Basically, it's like, okay, well, here you go, and just figure it out. Like, figure out what you're gonna do. <laughs> you're on so, the ground. Go do something. <laughs> it, which can be a good or a bad thing, but. It's interesting in the sense that it, it's similar to basically some of the mechanics of Warzone or DMZ in Modern Warfare. Mm, which, I'm, which already, it's like, I'm already not liking this, man. I'm getting like a sense of Where like, you basically, <laughs> you can go in with a loadout, right? Like you'll yeah. spawn in with the loadout that your character does yeah. at the beginning of the level. Yeah. But then you can also go around the level and pick up armor plates, loot a weapon, grab this, get something with a suppressor. Or, yeah. you know, if there's a helicopter, go around and, like, look for an RPG, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and it, it gives you kind of tasks, like points on a map, and you kind of decide which ones you want to do first or not. But it, yeah. it, it gives you the main story point immediately from the jump. Like, well, this yeah. is what you have to do. So if you want, you could just go in. Like, I did the second time I did one of those missions. I didn't realize the weapon they spawned me in with didn't have a suppressor. Yeah. So I shot the first guy. He was where I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm just shooting everybody. I'm uh -huh. not even doing this. Part. <laughs> As you do. As you do. Yeah. So you can do that if you want. But then when I did that mission that way, I realized, oh, okay, like you could actually do this mission in like five minutes if you wanted yeah. to versus like the other one that took me more like half an hour. Yeah. So it does add replayability. You can decide to use different weapons, play it a different style or whatever. But yeah. if you wanted to, you could finish that level like immediately. 
Okay, okay. So I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna play it. You know, I'm gonna play it, man. I gotta play these campaigns. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't early preload it or whatever this this time around because there's just so much stuff to play, man. There's just so mm-hmm. much. Uh, and I'm like, hey, I, I can't. This is Modern I can't Warfare Three. Phantom. I, I, I understand, but I will say this. I feel a little icky about what you're telling me right now. <laughs> like, I, I, but I, 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 I wanna, I wanna play it. I, I wanna play it and like. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I feel a little icky about it, but well, I, like, I can't say that I like it. So okay. I'll say that much. I can't say that I like it. Okay. I don't hate it. Yeah. But it is. It's just the. It's not the same as like playing those, you know, from A to Z gameplay yeah, yeah, scenarios yeah. in a level yeah. where they it's all linear and they have these like moments that yeah. happen in the level. Wait, they've they've called these games, you know, corridor shooters. You know, <laughs> like you're literally like. It's not a literal I corridor. A story, yeah, though. but it's like point yeah, to point to point. Yeah, but you don't you don't have that that level of polish that the other yeah. ones have had, where they have like these beats that you're going to hit because yeah. now they don't necessarily know where you're going to be yeah. in the level. Yeah. So it does take away a little bit from that. It doesn't feel like a Call of Duty campaign necessarily okay. in those levels. Okay. So it's uh, it takes different. away triggered events when you have that open world aspect. Well, I would think yeah, there that are kind but... of stuff. Okay. Yeah, being that right. like you're going through a hallway, you can't just suddenly get grabbed by a guy. You suddenly be in a knife fight, or some specifically explodes, and you're needing to run away from fire yeah. or something. You can't have that kind of stuff. All right. Oh, well, mm-hmm. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll we'll talk a little bit about it more, uh, and I'll, I'm sure I'll get a chance to to play it if I get it in time. I suppose for the next podcast. Um, but uh, yeah, anything else on that, Luis? I'm 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 I'm, I'm looking forward to us having a little discussion no for the discussion that's it. uh other than that what i've played uh, i did i think i mentioned it last week I, I played signalis and i said i was gonna play it after the podcast i did i stayed up till like 2 a.m to play this game that i didn't never necessarily even like man I, I honestly was like it's like going back to resident evil one sort of graphics they're trying to go for that but it doesn't play as well you don't even really have good weapons you don't have you don't have the marijuana plants to give you health you know you can't mix all these things together so it wasn't great it was kind of interesting i sort of the the graphics were nice the story was like very indie kind of game um it does do a thing i hope it's not a spoiler but it is very nearish i guess because there's a point in near right Dylan. we've talked about it before you got to replay the damn game like seven times, 20 times. <laughs> Signalis. Signalis. You, <laughs> you know I hate it when you say that, but you can continue on. Signalis. I'll, let, hold on, I'll yes. give you your rebuttal time. Don't you worry, sir. No, I'm sir. not going to rebuttal it. You can't. You can't. You can. Signalis, at, what happens at some point, Signalis, sign Alice. Uh, it left Game Pass, so don't even worry about it at this point. Uh, but it's one of those games. It At some point, it ends. Had I not been following like a guide to like okay what happens next, I would be like, oh I'm done with the game. No, it continued. You gotta re- you gotta start it again. And it's not you play through the whole thing again, but it kind of like, how was I supposed to know that I'm supposed to start this game again? It doesn't tell you anything. Um, real quick on your rebuttal part, Dylan. What do you mean? How does it actually work in here? You you replay the game. Yeah, but first off, you do mm. it once as a different character. Then you immediately get the next part of the story. Mm. I don't, you don't I, have to do it multiple times. I don't like it, but you got to play it like 37 times, and, and I just don't like it. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> the other I game so the other game I played was WarioWare Move It. Uh, you know, I, I've said it before, but like Mario Wonder, like, let me play with the family, see what they think about it. I did the same thing with WarioWare Move It. It's been a little while since there was a Wario game. And and kind of already immediately, the the my wife and my child were rolling their eyes as soon as the game started because it's like fully voice acted right is wario which we found out is the same new voice actor of mario and warrior is the same actor voice actor now uh and i was like yeah this is kind of yucky it's like 2d animated but not really that great and it, it's it's just as wacky as you remember it uh but a lot of like the little games in it is um it's not you know, like I think the best one probably is going back to GBA and Game Boy Advance games where it's like random little two, three second games. But this time you add the finicky motion controls, right? It's like, okay, move your hips this way, dance around that way. And it's like, this thing is not recognizing it. So it's definitely one of those games that I, I, I got it from uh, Gamefly, uh, tried it with the family for about like 30 minutes. And they were like, do you guys like it? They said no. And I was like, I don't know if I like it either. So it's going back for sure. Uh, Warrior War Move It just came out this past week. 
Um, but uh, yeah, another game I've been playing, of course, is that Gun Grave Gore. I, I mentioned it a little bit earlier. That one's leaving Game Pass. So by the way, I know I've said it before on the pod, but if you want me to play one of your games, tell me it's leaving Game Pass. I'm waiting for that moment for their like, it drops on Game Pass. You have to play it within the next week. I'm like, I guess I'm playing that. I can't play Spider-Man 2 anymore. Uh, but besides that, I was only going to tinker with it for about a level or two. Uh, but I don't know. It gives me like Dreamcast arcade vibes. It's definitely is not a double A game. It's not a triple A game. It's a single A game for sure. Uh, it's like from uh, they make it in they made it in Korea. I think even going back to the original, like I think the first one came out on PlayStation Two in 04 or so. Um, it's kind of cool. Gets very repetitive, very fast. But to me, I'm, I'm just kind of having fun with like, uh, you know, Grave is very highly detailed character everyone else looks like crap the levels look like crap everything is like crap except like the main character but he has kind of cool moves he carries a casket for whatever reason and and uh you know you shoot and it's automatically aiming at stuff uh so i'm gonna beat it and it's gonna be fun sort of but it's leaving game pass so that's the key here <laughs> i'm gonna beat it and it's gonna be fun sort of <laughs> i think the, the bosses i can at least say the bosses are kind of cool it's really the same strategy, though, right? Dude, are you having fun with the game or not? I'm liking it. I, I'm, I'm, like it. I'm liking it. Like, if someone asks you, like, how much fun are you having with this game? Zero to ten, right? Ten being fucking Skies of Arcadia, you know, or Destiny, maybe, or something like that. I would say, like, a six and a half. That was fun. What level do you need to keep going in a game, Dalen? Is six and a half <laughs> fun a level uh, enough? Uh, six and a half is, like, this game is good enough for me to want to beat, but I'm probably never going to replay it. <laughs> that applies that applies here uh, so that's what i've been playing uh i'm sure i'll be done with it by by next week and i gotta get so to I'll spider-man get Sonic a seven I, on that. <laughs> i'm gonna play i still gotta play uh is it called true it's not called truant jusant Ju, i don't know if that's how you pronounce it j-u-s-a-n-t uh that's on game pass um it just dropped this past week that looks kind of cool people are out there talking about game of the year i don't know when, whenever people say game of the year and it's an indie game right i'm like get out of here bro but I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot. And it's only like four hours long. So that's kind of right up my alley. Uh, Dalen, let's finish it up with you, man. What have you been playing? Uh, I, I can't remember if I specifically stated it, but uh, I was getting near the end of Sea of Stars where I beat Sea of Stars. I definitely beat Sea of Stars. Oh. And I'm bringing it up in this case because I platinumed that Ooh, game. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Okay, okay. It is very platinumable. I've heard I this. highly advise you play it. It is... It is simple enough to get a platinum in it. You really only have to play through the game one full time. And then I went back through the game on New Game Plus just to kill 10 bosses with a specific item. Yeah. And then I got my platinum. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and they have a bunch of little, uh, they have a bunch of little things in that game. They are fully self aware that. Uh, of, the, of the fact that it is a video game. I mean, at some point I saw. A I mean, we are talking about because... video games here, Dalen. Hey, I, about I, at about some it. point, I saw the statue from Trigun in there. They mentioned Zelda in it multiple times. Oh, uh, I see why have, you like this game. They have an entire crypt of all the developers with with funky little names and all the people that um, that uh, what was it called? Funded the game, you know, the GoFundMe people. Mm-hmm. They they have oh, a whole crypt uh, humble, of statues. Hum- humble Games, right? I think Humble Games or yeah. no? I think that's what well, whatever it is, yeah. you know, how they actually got people to help them develop the game. Yeah. They have a whole crypt uh, uh, commemorating people that helped them make this game. And the game was fun throughout the entire thing. The bosses weren't too hard. The, the enemies were fun to kill. The mechanics were excellent, much like, uh, and I think we brought it up before, uh, suddenly I can't remember the name of the game, Chrono Trigger. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's very but, inspired by it, yeah. But again, if you like Chrono Trigger... You will like this game, and this game is not as hard as Chrono Trigger. I did, man. I did very much. I, I, you're gonna love it. I, I might have mentioned. I hope I did. I played through yes, it on, a, on my phone, man. I played through Chrono Trigger <laughs> on my phone, uh, and it was uh, great. And it was a great experience playing it on the phone. You know, these RPGs playable on a phone. All right. yeah. uh, now, now, it, last... uh, Sea of mm-hmm. Stars is that up there on potentially shortlist game of the year, or do you yes. still got? Okay. You still got to play a few There's more no games, I think, it. though, right? You still got to play Spider-Man and Finish uh, yeah, Wonder. Yeah, I still got to play Spider-Man and yeah. stuff like that. Okay. Um, and, I mean, I'm playing Mario Wonder. But the game, uh, the other two games that I had actually been playing, 
is I know Ghost Runner Two is coming out. It already so dropped. I, it already it, dropped. It, so it, I gotta go. Out. I gotta go to this one. I gotta play it first. Uh, you technically might not have to, okay. but the game itself is still fun. I still recommend playing Ghost Runner if you hadn't had a chance to play it. At the very least, play the demo. It started hurting my hands because I forgot the button. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's a very simple game. Jump, wall run, dodge, slice a bitch. That's it. <laughs> okay, dude, that's in the manual. Slice that's a bitch in is the in the manual. Okay, reasonable. Reasonable. I, 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 but uh, it, it, the level design actually looks very repetitive and very grayscale because it's like, it, it, it's, I don't want to say post-apocalyptic. It's, it's very cyberpunk, mm. and they didn't put too many colors into it because you're basically stuck in a tower. Well, and it, it's kind of, it's made by a, a small team, right? So I'm kind of happy for them that it, it had success enough yeah. to make a sequel, and it's out, and unfortunately it's been buried right you didn't even know it was out i mean i you know maybe you just don't follow the release dates like that right but um but um uh yeah it's one of those things where it's like um (laughs) yeah unfortunately it gets lost it gets lost in the you know blast radius of everything else right but still even with the blast radius at some point i i'd advise people to uh, for people that love at least a somewhat challenge and a game that has really good game design and fast gameplay this is a good game. Why you go for story? You don't go, even touch it. Just why'd, jump why'd you go back to it, Dan? Is it because it's just kind of in your backlog or or whatever? Uh, yeah, it was in up. my backlog, and I actually enjoy it. It mm-hmm. irritates Nicole because I'll actually it, they have it in stages, and one stage it took me fifteen minutes to beat this stage, and I died fifty nine times. They counted it for mm-hmm. me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, one that's... of those games you can die a lot. One hit, you're dead. You yeah. fall off a cliff, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely one I got. I, I've been, there's just so much stuff, man. It's just so much stuff. And they're all good. Everything is like a high quality. But that's one I want to tinker with before I kind of touch Ghost Runner 2, even though I know you said I don't have to play it. Uh, but what else? Dan, what ended on uh, the last game you've been playing? The last game, I know Luis played a lot of this game. I I believe you beat it, as a matter of fact. I was playing mm-hmm. Ghostwire Tokyo. And no matter how many times I walk away from it and come back, this game is just excellent. It's just straight fun to play. And as you progress, you start getting more powers. You get experience to upgrade those powers. I did not know, and I'm going to let everybody know this tip. There are three pages of upgrades that you can do. I did not know that. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? You were just on the first page. Or not I was even just on the, on the first okay. page. Yeah. The first page is just your 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 weaving power to be able to You're doing a lot of uh, uh you know, your a lot of Christianity type stuff right yeah. there. Dealing. In the game, man. That's what oh, it does. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, all right, I understand. Fire, that's what it is. But then you go to go to the next page, you could upgrade your actual equipment. You could equip more beads on your wrist. You got another page, you could actually I like, like I like how it was like you were down enemies for longer. I like how you were like it was like Christmas morning to you. Like, what? Second page, <laughs> third page. Man, I I could have used all those points on these other things very That's, much. So. <laughs> is it easy enough to like respec or no? It's like you. Pff, there, you okay. cannot respec. Okay, reasonable. Okay. So you, you like just it. gotta know. There's three pages that you can upgrade. <laughs> That's a fair pro tip, man. It's a fair pro tip. And this is why this is actually one of those Carlos where I'll say you could uh, critical path to a certain point to get enough of the abilities. To really have fun with this. Okay, there you go, Dylan. That's a nice little. So all these you beat in the last week, or no? Oh, you're still no, working on no. these. Which are you I'm still working, working on? I beat Steve Stars. Okay. Platinum that. Okay. Got uh, working on Ghost Runner. Still in like the first quarter okay. of that game. And Ghostwire Tokyo. I don't know how far I am in that game. You got, I don't care. That game is just fun. You got a nice little uh, uh potpourri of games. That is, I don't know if that's the word. I hope. It's I the don't word. think it is. Uh, <laughs> Carlos Macias again, the master of what in the numbers. Originally so it was the master, the master of numbers, but let's make you the master of spices. You take the master, master of spices. Carlos Macias, thank you guys for joining us. Dalen Kirkwood up in the mountains. Thank you for joining me, sir. Luis Mendez on the wheels of steel. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you guys had sort of a new uh, format or something. I don't know. Click the bell. Just leave us comments. We'll make sure to like, you know, if you hit us up or whatever it is. Well, okay. What do you mean, Dalen? What do you mean? Sir? I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying click, subscribe, all those. Good what about the bell? <laughs> what about the bell? Click the bell for notifications. Okay. See, don't be over here doing stuff. All right. Latest.